Danny, exactly. what's going on with Ben White? Um, uh, would it be wrong now to see Ben White made anything of a pariah and be demonised for choosing not to play for his country? How has this situation come about indeed? Because back in 2021, when uh, Ben White, of course, Arsenal player Ben White, was called up for England for the first time, it all sounded so positive. Got a phone call, got told the news. I was out for dinner. I didn't really believe it. Obviously, speaking to, to Dan, and um, he told me all the news and when I was going and all that, it was obviously unbelievable. And put the phone down, rang my mum straight away, um, sat down there, cried. <laughs> mum was crying, mum, my dad. Um, had all my sisters there and yeah, I just sat and cried for about an hour. Couldn't really believe it and I don't think it's settled in yet. You know, when, when that call did come, I was over the moon with it and, and shocked really. So that was then when he was a Brighton player and he was absolutely thrilled to be called up to the England setup. So fast forward three years and this was Gareth on the same Ben White. John McDermott had a call from Edu last week to say that Ben didn't want to be considered um, for England squads at this time. Um, for me, that's a great shame. Um, he's a player I really like. He's a player that we took to a Euros when he was at Brighton, a player that we took to the World Cup. I spoke to him post Qatar because um, I was keen to pick him, and there was clearly um, reticence from on his side. I don't I don't know fully why that is. I have to respect that. And so the only other thing I would say is there is no issue between us at all. Um, and also should say there's, there's never any issue with Steve Holland. So this is nothing if not baffling, Danny. What, what is your... Well, you've been involved in the game, of course, at domestic international level for many years. You take a step back from it. What are you looking at here? Well, I've been, I was fortunate and I, I shared his elation when first get that first phone call, the first time I get an England squad. It is, it, it is overwhelming. Um, and if you fast forward when you've been in quite a few squads and you're traveling around, or I, I don't know how many he's been in so on, but I'm just talking more generally. If you feel that it is hard work at times when you are feeling like you're nowhere near the team and you've not got a chance in Ella playing. Um, so I think he's probably there. Something went on in the summer that he left early, didn't he? In the sorry, the summer was uh, the World, Cup, the World Cup. Cup. Yeah, yeah. So, so I don't know what that was. Whether he's feel hard done by, aggrieved. My feeling, I could never do it, but I I have heard of players wanting to do it and not doing it because of the backlash. So it can be family things, things at home you want to be close to. Something could be going on there. There, there could be reasons we don't know. But my feeling is that it's it's probably just a simple football one where he's thinking, I'm playing the best I can for my club and I've got no chance of playing for my country and I'm being asked to go on these in these squads where I'm not valued and I'm not going to play. So actually, I'm going to have the courage of my conviction and say, I don't want to do it. I'd are, spend... are you as baffled as me on this? Well, I think that's a, that's a very one-dimensional argument because how old is Ben White and how old are the players that are in front of him in terms of his ability to replace them, so he steps out of playing for. If that, if you're, you're twenty six, right? So if your argument is to be is to be a, subscribed to, and potentially Carl Walker is the player that keeps him out of the side. Carl Walker's thirty three years of age. Reece so James, getting, Trent, Alexander Arnold. But 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 he's they're they're not fit at this moment in time. And ultimately, if he gets in the yeah, squad, so he, he might come in and play again. He gives and himself an opportunity. Again. If he doesn't want to play for his country, doesn't want to. Play, I mean, I frankly think if you don't want to play for your country, then. Who cares? You know, you're a waste of time if you can't overcome the adversity and you don't think it's an honour to be called up for your country and you think it's some form of hardship to be sitting in luxurious hotels, competing with the best players, learning from the best players that you play against on a weekly basis, raising your game and maybe forcing your way into the manager's thinking and being available if an injury happens. If you think that's a hardship, God, my word, wait till you finish the game when I you get some real agree. hardships. I couldn't agree with you more. And I'm not but saying... we don't I'm, know that's the case. No, so if You're that's, saying that we don't know so that's if, the case. If there, if there is more something more substantial... Then let it out. Then that? I suppose, rather than than he doesn't have to explain himself to anybody, quite frankly. And I and I do think there's an element of the of a sense of entitlement about what people do and don't have to do want to do. I think most of us think, and Danny sat in the situation of being an international footballer being called up, so he can speak to it far more coherently. But most of us would think being called up for your country in whatever capacity you're called up in is a remarkable achievement in in and of itself, and a remarkable opportunity. Yeah. And unless there's some 
that unless it's something dreadful that we're missing, whatever adversity you have experienced in the England camp, how about having some backbone and get over it? Yeah, I had a couple of years of being in the squad where I was turning up basically knowing I wasn't going to play because of the quality ahead of me, right? Um, and it, 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 it is a bit frustrating at times and a bit deflating, but I, you'd always turn up because on the off chance you might be sneaky, you might sneak a game, and also what you're learning and what you're being around. I learned so much from being in those England squads, being around the likes of Beckham and Scholes, and even getting tips of Beckham on when he was practising his free kicks or you know watching Scholesy and people like yeah. that. It was... It, the incredible... So why wouldn't Ben White think the same? Well, I'm trying to take those few negative thoughts and deflate, having days where you're a bit deflated and you're away for 10 days and you're, you're kind of training thing and I know the man's going to pick him. Yeah, but Simon no, no, no. rightly says it's hardly a hardship. No, it's not a hardship, but I'm trying to think how they can manifest themselves into a point where you think, I don't want to be here. I struggle, I'm struggling with it because I, I wasn't that person. But... If he is a bit different, like there are some players, not many, by the way, I have met and played with who actually don't particularly like playing football and they've just found a talent and they're just pursuing it for the obvious reasons, material gain. Not many, but there are a few. If he's fallen out of love with certain aspects of football and he's got things he'd rather be doing elsewhere, then, as Simon says, I'm not going to hate him But it's curious. I mean, mean, if you look at the chronological order, he's called up for the World Cup squad. He goes home from the World Cup squad with no real explanation. Mm -hmm. He's being called up again, doesn't want to be party to it. Now, I would say that if it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, it's a duck, something's happened in that camp. And whatever that adversity is... How bad can it be? Well, this is my point. Um, and, And ultimately, playing for your country and being part of that opportunity, even if it's not today, you're more likely for it to be tomorrow if you're in the camp where today isn't happening for you. And I don't know whether it's a sense of entitlement. Maybe. Um, and I, if, if I'm, if you know, again, we're, we're flying blind, but it does feel that there's something uh, yeah. along the lines yeah. of, I'm not get, I've not gotten from a situation what I want and what I expect I should be getting. And so as a result of it, I don't want to be passing to it. Well, I, think, I, don't, I, don't think that's, I don't think that's an admirable mentality. No, I don't. It's not a long period of time, Danny, three years ago, yeah, when he correct. was absolutely thrilled mm. to be called up. So... Fast forward to now, I think we, and I would say this because it's the nature of our business, I think we are entitled to know. I don't know if we're entitled to know, but I, I, if it is, I, I would say well, this. Otherwise, you'll go to league I, 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 I get demonised I would again. say over a three-year period, and, and a lot less actually as a footballer, you, you can change very quickly for the worse in terms of how entitled you become and who you think you are because I've been there. I hope it's not that. I hope there is something external that is pushing him into a position where he'd rather be at home mm. than away. Yeah. I, 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 that yeah. would be the best case scenario. See, I don't. I mean, I know you won't like this, but I don't think we're entitled to know. I don't. I think it makes good content for us to know. So if we do know, and it's along the lines of we think that he's an entitled footballer, then we will pull the wings off that quick as a quick thing from Quickland. If we think it's something more, more, more meaningful, then we'll have a little bit more sensitivity towards it. But I don't think it's an entitlement. People have a right to choose what they do and don't want to do. If he doesn't want to in his professional well, it could be something, aura, it could be arena, really he doesn't sensitive. want to play for England, then he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to tell anybody that. All of us will just sit there and go. Wow, I don't think much of you. Harry Redknapp went off on a ramp on Friday. I'm more in the Harry Redknapp camp of, do you know what? Don't waste the time with him. If he doesn't want to play, he's not that great. Christ, he's a peripheral player anyway. Hmm. No, I mean, if it was... Peripheral doing... player. I mean, well, he is, isn't he? He's a never present for Arsenal. Well, no, he sure, means in, in England. England. He's peripheral for England. He's peripheral he's not, for England. He's not... I mean, there's a message there. Ben White's one of the best defenders in the league right now. He knows that. So when Maguire gets to start over him, would I do the same and say, no, Gareth, I'm not having that. Yeah, but then, well, but then, then you're a loser too. Me. No, but I, I understand where that message is going. But what Simon said before is spot on because what you're always thinking is, what well, what's next? Yeah. So if Maguire's picked ahead of him, right, right wrongly or rightly, overcome which, it. Yeah. You've just got to keep because Gareth might not be there in a couple of months after the tournament. Of course, so, no. since by him nailing his colours to the mast, he's now put himself in a situation. Well, how do you pick him again? How does anyone pick him again? Because the big thing about football is his trust and the relationship. So unless we're clear, not that we have an entitlement, unless there's some really significant mitigation, at 26 years of age, he's just decided that his international career, which never really started, is over. And I think that's a very sad, sad... And I think in years to come, he'll look back on that and may regret it. Okay, So no Ben White, but many of you are saying, so what? Be good to know, though. I do maintain that. It's 10 to 1. Jim White and Simon Jordan.
Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.